by the Arcad Saga. Welcome by a whole new video, the first one of this uh, this new year, this fresh new year. Uh, I always like the, the feeling of a fresh new year, like uh, a new growing season is about to start, new experiences are to be uh, to be made and uh, things to figure out, etc. And uh, every single uh, new year we get more experience by uh, how we grow our plants, for example. And we will uh, come up with some new ideas sometimes, so I will uh, uh, will have that as a first video for this new year. So yeah, we're going to make self-watering mounds. Like I promised in my uh, last video, uh, that uh, I promised that I would start a sort of new project here. And uh, this is it. But before I go to, into the details, I just want to mention that it's not originally my idea. Uh, I think about a month or two ago I came across of one of uh, Zane's videos and he did make uh, our videos about orchids and how he, he grow them uh, but I think he doesn't upload anymore but anyhow that video was about three years old and in that video he does make his own self-watering mound so I did uh, adjust a few things um, because this I think is suiting me a little bit better but uh, that's it. I uh, came across this material because of him. So I will uh, have a link in my video description if you want to check it out. This is a wicking material because we obviously need something to wick. But uh, so yeah, that was his idea. It's just um, just a little bit different. But anyhow, so yeah, we're going to make self-watering mounts. I just wanted to try it. And uh, in the video, I'm going to make three of them. Uh, but we're going to mount uh, for now two on a uh, self two plants on a self watering mount because i at this moment i have two that in my opinion would uh, would fit this new uh, this growing uh, style this one is my Draca, dracula bella and it is making new growths it's just on here of course so i don't see uh, roots uh, getting attached but i still see uh, new root tips so it's uh, looking very promising um, but yeah, obviously it's very new, so you never know how they will take it. And the other one is an Oncidium that keeps on losing its roots every single time. I think I have it for three years, maybe four, but I think at least three. And it always starts new growth. It does bloom for me, but it doesn't, got, doesn't get much roots and every single root uh, dies off. And uh, I know some plants have a sort of similar cycle, but uh, I think it's a little bit too soon that the roots start, start to die off. So I did try different things, but I couldn't find the right setup for it. And I hope I did now. As for my Dracula Bella, it bloomed for me. We saw the bloom somewhere in update, but it can do better. It uh, was a little bit too dry in this previous setup. So therefore I chose these two to put on a self-watering mount. So without further ado, uh, let's start this project and I will go through it step by step. And I really hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I'm really looking forward to this one. So uh, I hope you enjoy. So let's go over the materials first. Well, we at least need some pots, PVC pipes, wicking materials, scissors, glue, cable tie. This is cable ties. So let's uh, start this project <laughs> and before I'm going to uh, glue anything on here this uh, PVC uh, pipe into the pot I first need to uh, measure the uh, length of the wicking material of course so it's easier to do it like this I'm going to use a little bit of extra so I'm going to uh, cut a little bit further and at least I'm going to try to cut this. I have no idea if it's going to work, but here comes the scissors in hand, of course. Let's see if we can uh, cut this. Uh, looks like it's working. <laughs> so it looks a little bit like this. I'm going to open it up again, make it round. Let's check if our pipe fits and it does fit so it should look something like this in the end project <laughs> it's sticking out a little bit but that's okay 
So that's the first piece. That leaves me with another piece as well, which is a little bit longer, but that's okay. And of course I need another piece, so let me uh, grab that. Here it is, the other piece, so we can make this bigger like this. Let me see. Doesn't need to be completely exact, of course, but this is uh, going to be the third part. And there we go. So now I have all three pipes with the uh, wicking material. So I'm going to move them aside. We don't need them yet. We now need to glue this on here. So let me prepare. So I did forget to mention that I uh, need gloves as well as for materials and a piece of paper. But you don't need to wear gloves, of course. But I always get some uh, glue on my fingers. So that's why I like to use the gloves. <clears throat> so here we go. Let's start with the first one and start to get it glued in the pot, of course. So what I will do is this uh, water resistant glue we need, of course. I will put it around the edge and then put this uh, inside of the pot, of course. So let's uh, try to do this. To get some glue out of there. And there is the first glue coming. I use this also for my faces, for the vendas. It's a very nice glue. But and for the wicking materials, of course, I will have a link in the video description before I forget to mention. For the glue, it, I don't think it doesn't matter that much. You can find your own glue, I believe. <laughs> so, something like this. Oops. I have quite some uh, glue on there. And now it needs to go in a pot. Maybe I can do this like this in the camera. I'd, I have a bit of a spot there in the middle, as you can see. So I'm going to aim to put this around there. I hope you can see it. Yeah, I think you can. And I'm just turning it around so I have the glue all around and underneath the PVC pipe. And I am pushing fairly hard now a little bit. I'm going to put it down because that works better, I believe. And now it stands on its own. But if I push it a little bit, it will fall over. It really needs to dry. Let me quickly check. And I will uh, let this uh, dry overnight. So just put it safely there. And let's do another one. And I might speed this up because we just saw how, we, uh, how I did this. So uh, let's speed it up and uh, we will uh, be uh, right back. <laughs> So yeah, I did grab the camera from the tripod so we can have a look inside of the pot. We just, there you can see the glue, a very amount of glue, just to be safe and sure. <laughs> I did use, and while I was working on these three uh, guys, I thought, well, I think that a uh, hot glue from my uh, glue gun uh, would work as well, but I have this uh, this glue uh, laying around. But if you, uh, I think most people have a hot gun with with hot glue, and it probably would uh, would work the same. And it's probably a little bit easier to maintain <laughs> that hot gun, but uh, of glue gun. But anyhow, I think so far it looking uh, does look very well, and. Uh, yeah, this is how they uh, look at this stage. Like I said, I'm going to leave them overnight. So uh, they will dry at least for eight hours, but probably a little bit more. And then uh, we will be uh, right back because then it's the next day and we will uh, try to uh, put the uh, wicking materials around them. And then of course, uh, we take it from there. And here we are the next day. So these guys had time to dry. And uh, it looks like it did work. 
they are now attached to the pot, the PVC pipes. So, all three of them, as you can see. So that means that we now need to put the wicking uh, materials around the PVC pipes. The next stage, sort of. <laughs> Shouldn't be that difficult, I believe. It slides right over it, as you can see. And I will uh, grab my cable ties to secure it to the, uh, to the PVC pipe pipe a little bit better and there is the last one and there it goes so yeah it's kind of looks kind of funny whoops this one is a little bit longer maybe I can make it a little bit shorter pushing it oh no, I'm sorry pushing it back together as it was earlier in this video like that so yeah, I think this is better. So these are those. Here we have uh, the cable ties. Let me see if these are big enough. And where to put them? I think something around here. Yeah, these fit. Just to give it a little bit more to hold on to. I should have done this cable tie a little bit higher up because now I cannot secure it as uh, good as I wanted to. Let me. But we are learning. This is the first time I uh, make these guys, so let's put another one. I'm going to do it a little bit higher up so I can secure it a little bit better. I'm not sure if that does. No, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I can still move it around, but I think it will be okay. So uh, I will put a plant around it and I think it, it will uh, stay into place. So a cable tie is not really working. I need to secure it too much and I'm, I'm a little bit uh, afraid that I will break the pipe loose again. Even though the, the glue is very strong, I believe, but still. And it doesn't really serve a purpose at this, uh, this stage, I believe. So like I said, this is the first time we make these guys. So we're learning. That's not a, not a big problem, of course. <laughs> so I'm going to grab some water. This is the next stage. And put some water in there. Make a, a, a reservoir. Something like this. And see if it starts to wick. So I grab myself a bit of RO water, nothing in there, because I just want to know if it starts to wicking. So I just pulling it, uh, like I said, on the bottom of the pot to create a uh, reservoir. And that's how I'm going to check how much this stuff wicks, if it does wick enough. I hope it does, otherwise this is a bit of a failure. <laughs> so just a little bit of water there. A little bit more there. So let's see. I feel nothing yet. So this, well, actually a little bit there. So this will take, uh, I think, uh, maybe a, an hour or two. I'm not sure. So I will leave them and uh, then we will uh, be back. So here we are again and it's been about 15 minutes. So not that long yet. And I, yeah, I can already see that this is a little bit darker than this. So yeah, that's absolutely uh, wicking. Beautiful. So yeah, I'm really uh, looking forward to this project. Yeah, this is uh, damp and this as well beautiful so that means that uh, that it's time to uh, unpot uh, two orchids that i'm going to uh, mount and one mount is for another orchid i don't have an uh, uh plant for that one but uh two for now so i'm going to grab the plants and we will uh, unpot them and then we will uh, mount them <laughs> it sounds a little bit strange i'm not used to mounting orchids but uh yeah this is uh, great fun if you ask me <laughs> 
So the first one is going to be my Dracula, uh, Dracula Bella, which I had hanging above this face, and it uh, kind of worked. It did even uh, did bloom, but uh, I think it uh, might do better on a mount. And also the face is going to get very dirty. So yeah, I think this is a good candidate. For, uh, for the first mount, you can see the LV is... Uh, grab the tag first. So this is, like I said, the Dracula, Dracula Bella. And uh, let's see if we can uh, get it out. I have no idea. It looks like it has some uh, some roots, and it also has two new growths here. So I will show them uh, later on. But uh, so yeah, this is not a, a bad time to, for a repot, I believe. Let me uh, grab these guys. Do you want to come out? No. This way works better. So, try to get it gently out of the pot. Oops. Okay. As gently as possible. Here we go. Flower spike, yes, there we go. So yeah, this definitely has uh, some roots. I can see. Let me uh, grab the scissors because it keeps being attached to the basket. So here we are. Hmm. Yeah. Try to get off as much media, of course. Um. I may uh, speed this process up because it's going to take quite a, quite a while to get it off. So yeah, this was a little bit easier, I think, time-wise. <laughs> but uh, we have some new roots. I think you can see them here and there. But also quite some old roots, as you can see. So this was uh, way drier than I thought. So yeah, therefore... It didn't do as well. Well, actually, I have three new growths. I see one here and two here. So that's beautiful. I didn't notice that. And I see some uh, new roots just starting with those new growths. So yeah, beautiful. Right time for a repot. And like I said, this one needed uh, one. So that's the first one. I'm going to grab the second one. And this is my Oncidium varicosum. Oops, I'm sorry for the glare. So yeah, this one, as you can see, I did re-bloom it for two years now, but it's not looking well. It's, I don't know why, but it keeps dropping the roots every single time um, during the season. So it has a hard time to uh, um, hydrate itself thereby. So that's a little bit sad. So I thought, well, I'm going to try to, uh, to mount this one. This is the last option I have at this moment. But first I'm going to clean it up a little bit. And let's see, maybe it needs more air around the roots, even though I did put it in a net basket as well. It still keeps on losing the, the maturity of the roots. So yeah, this is also a uh, candidate. But as you probably already saw, it's starting two new growths with uh, new roots, so also a good time to uh, for a repot. So I'm going to try uh, to get this out very gently. Uh, this I do not expect much roots. <laughs> and there it is. Yeah, barely any roots. The roots that I see are br uh, very brown and dead so far i can believe i believe yeah so this is uh, fairly oops it was a new growth it's still on there <laughs> luckily because we need those roots 
and just can pull this off because the roots are dead. Yeah, that's sad. I try to uh, maintain some moss here because that uh, that would be nice if that would grow on the mount as well. Yeah, I need to uh, cut out these roots. Yeah. Some Syntec here. I yeah, tried everything to get this to grow, but and keep the roots. It just it grows roots, but then it starts to uh, let them die off fairly quickly. This is a new growth here on the side that didn't mature properly. Rot it off, but it has some roots. It's firm, so yeah, I'm going to leave it. So this is the next one. I'm going to clean up a little bit more and then we will uh, start mounting them. Okay, and we are back. I just uh, cleaned everything up, used my uh, alcohol to uh, clean the tray. So now we have the plants and we have two self-watering mounts. I'm not sure if you can see this on camera. It's very hard, but you can see somewhere there. Here it's a little bit darker than here. Yeah, I'm not sure if this shows up on camera. Maybe. But that means that it's... Yeah, actually you can see it in this one, I think. This is very dark, dark, dark. And then it goes a little bit lighter. So that means... Whoops, there we are. That that is dry and that is wet. So it's still wicking while we were working on our uh, orchids. Okay, now I have to mount. <laughs> That's so funny. Because, yeah, I never thought that I would uh, make a cell watering mount <laughs> and thereby mount my orchids. Um, how do I do this? Something like this, I believe. And let the roots find the mount. But I'm not sure if this cable tie is big enough. Uh, let me first put that here because I don't want to whoops you see there I'm already touching a new growth I don't want to whoops touch a new growth with the tie just secure it on there I hope this is big enough no let me uh, it should be just about the right size, I believe. Do I want to put it here? Yeah, I think so. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, <laughs> it's just a little bit too small, actually. So I'm going to try to make it stick. Yeah, there it is. It should keep the plant in place, but not as good as I was hoping for, so I need another one. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better what I'm, I'm doing here. So you can see there is the first cable tie. It's just barely holding, but it's holding the plant into place so far. But as you can see, it's still a bit moving. So I want, I left those old roots for this reason on the plant. So I can uh, hopefully secure it a little bit better on those old roots that goes a little bit of pumice that's okay I hope you can see it there again it's just I should have bought a little bit bigger cable ties for this project but but they work it just needs a little bit more maintenance I believe but there we are so, there you can see the cable ties. And now the new growths are fairly close to the uh, mount. Quite a lot of roots. Maybe some roots are still alive. I'm not sure. But yeah, let's try this. And the spikes, we have here an old spike, will come underneath, from underneath the plant. And I probably, I hope they will find their way just around the mount and start etch, uh, uh, yeah, etching over. 
but yeah. This is the first one. Let's uh, grab the other one. Here is our plant. One more time. Look at the beautiful new roots. And the plan is to keep those roots <laughs> for a change. Uh, but first we need to secure it. I'm going to put a cable tie just in between the plant. I hope you can see it. So I don't touch the new roots. Uh, yeah, new roots and new growths too much. And then I will put it... Mm. No, that's not working. I'm sorry guys, but I this is the first time I'm mounting something. Well, actually, I did mount a, a long, long, long time ago an orchid, but never <laughs> in this type of setup. So I need to find a little bit the uh, sweet spot, I believe, to mount these guys. Uh, I need a second, uh, a third hand, actually. There we are. Do yeah, I'm not touching new growth. It was the plant and now we need to secure it. And there we go. Well, it's hanging there. That's the first. Look at that. It's strange. <laughs> but it's funny and it's... There we go. The new roots. Moss. Who knows? The moss might take over the mount that would be great maybe i need to put another another uh cable tie there let me see where do we oh maybe here check oh this is very a big piece that i try to mount no this is not going to work well actually Maybe just right in. Let me try to do this one more time. Mm. Yeah, I suggest you buy a little bit larger cable ties. Whoops, no, this is not going to work. So I need a bit of wire and that's not a problem, but the wire is green. I always use green wire, but on this I like black because you, then you don't see it as obviously as obvious i should see say i meant to say that i have wire with the better fitting more suitable color <laughs> you see this is the difference um this green is very noticeable as you can see in comparison to this dark green one so i'm going to use this one uh, i want to put it here so I can push that mass against uh, against the uh, mount as well so it may get hold of it and start growing and taking over the mount it would be great you never know of course <laughs> so yeah just twisting and turning this around so yeah this is better it's now touching the mount and that was the purpose of all. <laughs> Let me get rid of the excess here. And also on this. There we go. So you guys, it's hanging. It's hanging. Look at that. Beautiful, close to the mount. So yeah, I'm very, very curious to see how this will develop. I hope you guys do too, but this is, uh, yeah, one more last attempt to grow this orchid better. Like I said, let's keep those roots there. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> so here they are. I did grab my camera from the type tripod so we can have a closer look. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to this uh, project. And uh, funny enough, I found this to be a quite a nice uh, uh, display, actually. It's a bit strange, but anyhow, but look at that. That new growth, the roots are already touching the mount. And this one is very close 
to the mount as well and because this will be uh, wet it's well actually it's already uh, damp we will have quite a high humidity there so i don't think it will be any problem to uh, let get those new roots touch uh, the mount and this is a very nice uh, viber to attach to if you ask me for the root so yeah this is looking very very promising what a great way to start this new fresh year you guys i'm really really enjoyed this one <laughs> i hope you do too and of course uh, let me know if you did something similar maybe oops maybe uh, you saw the video of saying you know uh, which one i'm talking about but yeah, I'm really happy that I uh, came across that video. It inspired me to uh, make self-watering mounts. Thank you guys for watching. And as usual, if you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comment section uh, below or suggestions, anything. I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.